I didn't want to tell you guys really last video, Emily kind of said that we weren't feeling well enough to continue on to the summit. Which is a big deal for Danny, as you guys all know, that he definitely wanted to continue on. Yeah, and I think Emily was being nice by not saying that I'm the one who's not feeling well. And now we're starting to worry that it might be elevation sickness, altitude sickness. Here, where the van is right now, is 11,600 feet elevation. And last night we slept at um, 12,000. Bukaramanga, where we, where we thought like, oh, we're in higher altitude is only 2,600. 2,600. <laughs> so that's just how serious these mountains are here, you know? Yeah. We still got this map of Central America and there's not really any elevation like no. this. Maybe one spot or, you know. You... And we probably hiked to that spot. So we're heading down. Hopefully coming down is going to be easier. This is a really wild road, honestly. Yeah, the views are gonna be amazing. So right before we left, the daughter invited us into their home again, and they gave us some... A little bit stuck there. <laughs> yeah, I already got stuck, like we're about 20 feet away. Yeah, we'll just stay here forever. I hope you guys have more cake. <laughs> so yeah, they gave us a little cake she said it was made from the berries that they pick on their property. Oh my gosh, they look a lot like blueberries. They were super, it was a really, really good cake. And they gave us more blueberries. So I'm really excited to have this in my cereal and yogurt. Maybe just eat them the whole way there because they are super tasty. So we were down in Pamplona and I think we got pretty acclimated. Our headaches went away and we feel a lot better. Pamplona was actually really nice. It was a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. There was a nice plaza with so many people wandering around. Uh, I think that Colombia has pretty good infrastructure. The roads are usually really nice. There's always like outdoor exercise equipment in every town, which is pretty sick and always little playgrounds for kids, beautiful plazas, and honestly something that I've seen with the Colombian people that I need to up my game on is how well they're dressed. Everyone is dressed so nicely. <laughs> they're like very fashionable, you know, not just like old clothes or something, like very fashionable, like shoes, clothes, everything. And I need to up my game. I wanna go to a, I wanna go to a Colombian shopping mall. So now we're on our way over to a nice isolated campsite. Well, there's the main road we came in up into the mountains. Now, we're going up on this guy to our lake. Man, so we came up to a gate here, um, which on iOverlander they said there would be an open gate. Now I'm kind of stuck backing up with a steep hill over there. Am I able to do this around? What do you think? I think this is probably the only space that we're going to be able to turn around. Woohoo! 
got it turned around. Oh, good. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to check back in the town to see if somebody can get us in here. Otherwise, there was another lake we saw nearby. Yeah, so not much luck because I guess she said she already closed it for the night and she didn't really want to go up there again. I told her, I'll, I'll take the key, I'll bring it back. But she said, no, we're guarding it for the guy or something. I don't know, she just seemed kind of busy tonight. and. The other option is we go to this other lake, Coma, Coma Gueta. Mm -hmm. So here we are to check out the other lake. And come to the gate. But this one gives us some info. And is it locked? No. And it says, this beautiful place is yours and also mine. For your preservation, please chip in 3,000. Sweet, so we can just get in here. I don't think there's anybody around, but I'll check. So I guess we'll just head up and figure out who we pay when we get up there. And close this behind us. Looks pretty steep. This is going to be a nice little drive, I think. That's good. Yeah. Island. Another cool place in the <laughs> mountains. Got another mug of agua panela. This time it's with lime. Super tasty. Today we're camped at this beautiful little spot. It's called El Paramo del Almuerzadero. It's really nice. The lady is super friendly as well. So there's a couple of hikes that we can do at this Hormuercerero, which is walk over to the Laguna and check that out. And then there's also a really beautiful waterfall, which looks like a little bit better, uh, a little bit longer hike. So yeah, we're hoping we can do both today. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice day. Yeah. Waking up here, high elevation, beautiful area. Let's go, buddy. Oops, Graham got scared and went back to the van. <laughs> Hike resumed. So, so what happened to somebody Emily? Okay, so she was doing like this and we just kind of ran over to the green and immediately fell, maybe she just fell into the lake because there's a steep drop off. Oh my gosh. And now she's soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, she still seems happy. But she doesn't get I don't know money. why she has so much energy this morning. She needed a bath anyway. The sun is super strong this morning, so I don't think that she's cold and I'm sure she's gonna dry out really fast.
So the lady let us stay here for five dollars and that cabin up there is our bathroom. There's even a hot shower in there. <laughs> it's a super cute little cabin up here. And from here you can see the lake. Great view. Over here you got the waterfall. This shower is like super nice. You know, really clean, nice tile. These things actually use electricity to heat up the water on demand as you're using it. Pretty nice yeah. to have a hot shower up here. And then yeah, a bathroom that is the main reason we have the key here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a shower yesterday anyway, huh? Yeah, we did. I don't know though. If I have to wash this dog, I might get a shower. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes, Umbrita jumped in the mud. Whoever she's waiting right outside the store. <laughs> hey, bitte, you're not coming in here. <laughs> Apparently, Emily found somewhere we can wash the dog off. And there is a highway over there. It goes way up that hill. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might work. Yeah. We can get her over here. I uh, know, she saw it turn on, so she might not come back. <laughs> she like picked up a foot like, get this part of me. <laughs> Man, it's too bad I have to film this because I could help. Oh, that's good. Yeah, get her on the chest there. She looks so cute when she's just like, oh. Now don't go in the mud, okay, girly? <laughs> So we're gonna go check out this waterfall over here. Should be a nice little hike. And she also told us we can refill our water. So we're gonna try and get some potable water too. Well, she said she doesn't boil the water, she drinks it. And this is the way over here to the waterfall. Beautiful. Some of these cows up here look pretty different. This one almost looks like a U.S. cow. She's so pretty. But it's something in the faces. Oh, there's a van down there. Whoa. What's that? They have, they have this in Philly, don't they? No, they don't. Whoa. Fog's rolling in, but there's definitely a cascada there. Wow! There it is! Sombrita has had this bone the whole walk and has been chewing on it like a piece of gum. <laughs> Really beautiful.
beautiful hike we have. It wasn't very far only. I think it'll be about two and a half miles total. Just incredible how many places we can we found in the Paramo where people just have this beautiful land that we can just wander around and explore. What's your favorite part about the Paramo? Ooh, I just love how open the mountain views are. There's not too many tall trees, so yeah. just get views everywhere. And then you get these jagged mountains that just look epic. Waterfalls, streams, lakes. Frio. Cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> that should have ended <laughs> The cold. I love the frailejones that we found. Those yeah. are pretty sick. Because they're only found in the Paramo. Yeah, those things are crazy looking. Like yeah, those are awesome. But the cold is definitely a top one for me also. So we're at 11,000. It's changing. 11,420 11, feet elevation oh, right now. Oh, oh, oh. I knew my overlander was wrong. Yeah, <laughs> this I'm is in. pretty high. I don't blame my overlander. I blame whoever added it. But Yeah. Yeah, this is a six. Actually, this spot in particular wasn't even on iOverlander. No, right? this spot wasn't on iOverlander. We're going to add it to iOverlander. So if anybody wants to come here on their moto and you need a place to stay, or if you have a casa rodante like us, perfect place to spend a couple days explore a little bit and the woman that runs the place is super nice whole huge bag of potatoes, bananas, beets, a whole thing of onions, carrots, an entire bag of carrots. I got it all for 10,000 Colombian pesos, which is just about uh, two and a half dollars. <laughs> so we're gonna have mashed potatoes. Yeah, because we have a lot of potatoes. Yeah, you're starting to work through it. Yeah, the whole bag was full when I bought it. <laughs> Irish. Sam Sam! Sam Sam, what are you doing in there? So I think that the cold weather is way easier to to van life in than the warm weather because the warm weather we use so much energy on running the fan super high and the cold weather we've well at least in high altitude we get the sun so intense on the van and we don't really need to run the fans as much we don't have to charge USB fans every day run the box fan oh yeah the fridge doesn't even have to run that much everything's better in the cold <laughs> So we're heading out of the Almuercerero. We loved it so much, so we wanted to go check out the other lake, but it looks like it's gonna be closed today as well. But we still love the area, so we're gonna move on to another set of mountains. too big for the road so we have to so we have to like shuffle crazy amount yeah it said in the beginning of the road trucks with more than two axles shouldn't go on the road so <laughs> oh sombrita this is crazy We'll see how it goes now, so this big old truck can get by. Yeah, you think we'll make it there? 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I hope so. This is gnarly. This is like the nice part of the road, but it's also skinny. This shows that the road farther down is a little bit better because I bet he didn't do this the whole time. It wouldn't be worth it, right? You would just take the regular road, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't for trucks. But then again, it must be a good shortcut if everybody's taking it. Yeah, it must oh, be. Oh, here goes. Come on, please. Tell me, how's it look, Emily? Oh, he can get by. Oh, yeah. cool. So, pretty <laughs> crazy. Pretty crazy. But it's like a line of them, so I don't know. Here comes another big one. So we're just gonna wait, I guess. It's what? huge. This one's even bigger than the last one, honestly. Wow. Oh, another one too. How many more are there? Jeez. Yeah. Oh man. A fellow Dodge. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Now look at this. We had to back up here onto this sketchy part. We left the front wheels on the road, so we'll have enough uh, traction. To get out of here after. And another one. Okay, yeah. Well, the guy in front of us is gonna go, so I guess we're gonna head off. Not waiting for any more truck. Driving up through these mountains is so beautiful, but the road is definitely a little bit sketch. It's nice that some of the worst parts have a little bit of pavement, but we knew going in that we were in for this. Back at the last spot, I talked to the stepfather of Luz, and he said, Yep, it's gonna be about two hours to Malaga. And he told, he actually recommended this side road versus the main highway. Um, I'm not sure if that's because the, the huge trucks that are out on the main road, but this is definitely a popular route with truckers as well. But to see all the Fray Lejones around us, these are the tallest ones we've ever seen. And just a landscape of very high altitude, no trees, just more bushes and, and vegetation that, that you're not used to after driving through a jungle for two years. I really love these views while we drive. I think that's some of the best part of the trip. Somebody who misses the journey is missing about all they're gonna get. Okay, this guy for sure didn't get the memo. What the heck? There, this road is so small. How in the world is he gonna get all? I mean, I guess he's almost done, but like, jeez. Like a boss, though. I know. I wonder if it's less bouncy in that bus. <laughs> jeez, that's insane. This road is so small. This is like a, a passenger bus. Yeah, it's like a Greyhound. Like a fancy, nice one. Yeah, it probably has a bathroom. Let us know if you'd take the plunge into these icy alpine lakes in the comments. We'll see you guys next time at some really special mountaintop of Colombia.